Rob, welcome to Axel's Kitchen. So I'm walking through Walmart and I notice a display with copper pans, you know, the copper craze. So they had three frying pans. They had a smaller one that was like a 10 inch, then they had like a 12 or a 14, and then a bigger one. But they were all different brands. So I wound up getting the Copper Chef. There was two of them that were as seen on TV, the Copper Chef and somebody else. And there was one brand that I had never heard of before. So I said, you know what, if I'm going to try one out, let me get the Copper Chef because they seem to have the most advertising going on, the infomercials and crap like that. So we got the Copper Chef and we're going to try a couple of different things in a couple of different parts. So we'll break this video up over a couple of days. And uh, it was like 20 bucks. It was the most expensive out of the three frying pans and it was the smallest and it does work on an induction cooktop because it's got the, uh, the metal bottom. Um, it's a 10 inch. Non-stick, works in the oven, works on the stove, all types, gas, electric, ceramic, and induction. Um, it's actually a pretty nice pan. So let me take it out of the package and we'll cook something up and see if it sticks. Alright, so I've got some egg whites in a milk container, some Swiss cheese. some leftover chili that somebody opened and put back in the refrigerator. So I'm going to make some chili, cheese, egg white, omelet. Now they claim that you don't need to move the pan with anything and you don't need to uh, use a special spatula, a plastic spatula like you would on a nonstick pan because you can't, you know, you screw the surface up when you use the metal spatula or a fork or tongs with metal tips. So I'm going to use a regular metal spatula. I guess I'll give it a little loop with some butter. I'm going to put a little bit of butter in, not as much as I would normally making eggs with is I want to give it a little bit of a torture test but this first time not too much there's the egg whites in stuck. You could see this omelet sliding around and it just slides right out. <laughs> the, the pan is clean. I'm pretty impressed. Matter of fact, I'm so impressed. Just for shits and giggles. I'm going to take a piece of Swiss, throw it right in the pan. Swiss melty. Alright, so I got a fairly high heat on. I got the Swiss going on the pan. This is pretty cool. Alright, this is what it looks like. But you can see it's not sticking at all. And I'm going to put it right on top of my omelet. Are uh, wash it. 
just just going to don't submerge it in cold water when the pan is still hot because it could warp it. But I'm going to take a paper towel, wipe it out, and see what happens. There's only a little bit of the cheese that I didn't scrape off. It wasn't stuck. Um, it just got left behind, but I'm pulling the cheese out. All right. All right, so I did it over the sink. But all I did was take one piece of paper towel, and it looks like I just took it out of the package. Absolutely perfect. Cool. All right. Off to the next test. All right, so back in the kitchen at the end of the day, the other end of the day, I am using the copper pan to reheat something to eat for dinner. And what I did was my wife made some some stir fry, broccoli, beef, and some kind of sauce on it. But it's something that I can eat on my diet because it's got like very few carbs. So dump some of that into the copper pan, turn it on. Just gonna mix it around quick and see if anything sticks. Maybe I'll throw some cheese on top for a little flavor. Being that those really nice noodles that were in the bottom of the stir fry left over, I can't add. So far, no good, no stick. But even with the cheese on it, still slides around in there. So for our final test of our Kappa Chef pan, which so far during normal cooking we did an omelet, we heated some uh, stir fry, which was beef, broccoli, sauce, there was you know, some kind of sauce on it, uh, melted some cheese right in the pan and we was able to pour it out on top of our omelet. So far so good. So I have a variety of torture items that we're going to do with this Kappa Chef pan. So let's... Uh, Start to get it hot. All right, I'll put it over a decent heat. I got some uh, leftover chicken salad. Mm, pretty good. Almost on its way out. I got some chocolate covered star cookies, you know, those Christmas cookies. I got one of these hot cocoa Oreos. I got a chunk of a stale pretzel from Wawa. And I got some watermelon candy, hard candy in the wrappers. Now, if you've seen that Copper Chef infomercial, well, one of those Copper Pan inf infomercials, I'm not sure which brand, they throw that the red and white, you know, peppermint Christmas candy uh, in the wrapper in the pan. So we're going to try it, wrapper and all. All right, so we got our Copper Chef pan. All right, going to throw some candy in there. Let me find a... Uh, I'm going to use, should I use a wooden spoon? You know what, maybe I better use like a plastic fork or something. Because whatever I use could, has the potential to get ruined with all this crap on it. And my wife will be pissed at me. So I'll we'll let these, uh, Let those candies melt in there for a couple minutes. I'll throw some chicken salad in there. Bring your chicken salad. My mother in law made it. Alright. So we got here some, some leftover mac and cheese from a barbecue place that we did a review on. We didn't like this mac and cheese because it was a little salty, so. Let's throw some of the mac and cheese in there. All right, we got a little sizzle going. There's our Wawa pretzel. All right, some of these star cookies. Throw them in there, and we'll throw our Oreo in there. And we'll cook it up. So we got plastic wrappers in there even.
Smells like crap. What else can we put in here? A little Parmesan cheese because that's very sticky. That sticks to a lot of stuff. Steven made some kind of cheesy pasta sauce, kind of tomato sauce dip that was left over. I'll throw that in. Got some sugar, right? Sugar sticks. Throw some sugar in. Smells horrible, but that's not the point. I know one. Left over piece of chicken sausage. Throw that in. And we got little fried fish things that we used to make uh, fish tacos the other day. All right. All right, now I'm going to throw in some, what is this anyway? It's some kind of rice? Uh, uh, risotto. Like a risotto. Oh, that's sticky, right? Risotto sticks. All right, everything heated up. Real hot. Disgusting mess. Give it another couple flips. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Need some help. I spilled a little on the stove there. All right, now it's a yeah, it's a complete disgusting mess. Uh, by the way, the handle gets a little warm, but nothing really where you need something. Um, all right, it came right out. Nothing stuck. Not even the plastic from the candy wrappers. All right, I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes. And then I'll show you the cleanup. This is amazing. It really is. All right, it's been about three minutes. I didn't really time it. All right, we have our disgusting mess of food here. It smells really bad, but it's sticky and gooey. And you see, it almost all slid out of the pan. There's a little bit of food left on the side. And I'm just taking a dry paper towel. And... You know, the pan's not red hot anymore. <coughs> All right, and I'm just giving it a little spritz. Spritz. Is that a word? Spritz. Giving it a little wipe with that dry paper towel. And every... Every single speck of food with the dry paper towel, even the plastic from the wrappers came off. All right, I spilled a little when I was flipping it onto the back. Everything came off just with a dry paper towel. That's pretty incredible. The only thing where stuff actually gets stuck is on the, the two bolt heads. I don't know if, can you see them right here? Those are the two heads of the bolts that hold the handle on. I do have stuff stuck there. Um, but like I said, I didn't even use a sponge or any soap or anything. I'm just using the dry paper towel. And whatever's stuck on there, stuck on there pretty good. So let me go give it a wash. Um, just with a regular sponge. I'm not going to use a scouring pad, nothing like that. I'm just going to give it a regular wash with a sponge. And we'll see what it looks like. Alright, so I took a regular sponge. What do you call that sponge that I use? The Scrub Mommy. The Scrub Mommy. Which is, uh, is that the regular one or that's a new one? It's a new one. The Scrub Daddy is the original. Ah, the Scrub Daddy. That was a uh, Shark Tank sponge, the Scrub Daddy. Now they got the Scrub Mommy. So I just used a little, the Scrub Mommy with a little um, dishwashing soap. Pretty much everything came off of where those, where the food was stuck. So it stuck on those two rivet heads, um, but they did come off with a little scrubber from the sponge. The pan. It's not ruined, even with that plastic that burned in it, melted in it. The finish, it's it's like it's new. All right, I'm giving it a thumbs up. If you're in the market for a frying pan, a non-stick frying pan, try the Copper Chef. We really like it. What do you think, baby mama? Love it. I'm sold. I'm going to get another one the bigger size. That's it today from Axel's Kitchen. See you next time.